in a good mood today. Wow. Right, so the next. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, and this, I'm going to be doing a rehouse video of my Formictropus Atromatus, um, the Red Island Bardita. I'll tell you how I keep it during it. I won't be putting words on the screen for this one, if I, unless I get time to edit it properly after. I'm a bit short on time. So let's just get into this video. Guys, so in this milky enclosure, I'm not sure if you can see, just there is the butt. You can see it just moving now. Is my Formictropus Atromatus or something like that, and it's going to be moving from this little thing that I in, which is getting too small for it now, after its recent mold, which was about two days ago, or probably closer to a week. And we'll be going into this one, the second one of these enclosures that I purchased. Now I showed you how to build. I'll put a card up above now. So if you want to see how you can get these enclosures, they're cheap as well. It's a way of saving you guys money. So, <clears throat> let's get into this. So there it is. Um, I'm going to firstly attempt, I'm going to bring it back here because I'm going to attempt the Gav style rehouse. And um, quick first about this setup there's cocoa fibre in here, a bit of stagnant moss. I'll check from the top some broken up bits of cork bark. Um, big water dish hasn't got any water in yet, we'll have soon. A hide, but if you notice, I've got the hide facing the main window. So I can see, even when it's in the hide, I can see it. Um, these species are amazing. They're used to quite high temperatures. Um, I've kept mine quite humid. I know there's people in the hobby keep them different ways, but I've kept mine quite humid. So let's just see what kind of temperament this guy's in. There was a lot of hair flicking earlier when I just had a look to check on it and take its old malt out. And second day in a row, fret poses. If this continues, I might just the easiest thing might be to put this whole container into there. So I'll give it one more tap on the back, see if it wants to go up a glass for me. Jumpy. Trying if the ground is on. Oh, a stripe. I don't know what it is. This one was as relaxed as you could get when I used to have it. I think I got one fret pose in the first year or so of keeping it. Now, probably not the best thing to do to be handling it to put it in this way. In this, but someone is definitely not in a good mood today. Wow. All right, so the next thing is I used to have videos like this all the time. Might be one of these. Some hairs. 
And what we'll do, we'll put it here. Um, yeah, so need to say, putting that in there didn't work. That's the reason the water dish wasn't filled as well, because I would already pre-planned that. But always have a catch cup or something available. But yeah, these species, I don't know about it flicking hairs or anything. Actually, it's done, I will put a picture of a full-grown adult up on the screen as well, around now. Um, I'm trying to upset it. It's back. All right, so now I'm literally just going to move that from there to there. Hopefully it'll go straight in here, which I've dug down a little bit as well. Just bring some of that out. A um, little bit greenery just because it makes the enclosure look a bit better. This will be a good view from the front. And hopefully this will be the view where you get of the spider going back in. Remember, always be as careful as you can because you don't want them to fall. What are we doing with that? Oh, and it's trying to come out of the head. You can come out there if you think you can fit. But I'll go the other way, I'll you. Oh, more striking. Oh, like Gav and Gav's trying to just sat there at home laughing, thinking this would have been done by now. If it was me, it would have just walked straight in. Let's try the other way then, see if you can fit out that little bit. Oh, some more hair kicking. As you get with all new worlds. This one is from South America. I don't know if it can actually fit out there. You know, it's going to try and go out there. I could do it turn around. Oh. Well, we've learned something new. Gertramathus can actually fit at the head of a water bottle. So now this bottle is going to have a nice wash out before we do anything else. Due to the fact that there will be hairs in there. See if we can get some light on the situation so you can see it. There it is. All we host. Very angry today, don't know why. Like, why would you be angry when you're going from this little setup to this one? And the only thing to do now is add a few springtails and some water. And guys, all we do with these springtails is a little handful, sprinkle them around. They'll grow, they'll mate. And they'll clean up any mess in these guys' enclosures. I don't know why these seem to get so dirty when I've just taken them off the shelf. But I'll keep all this in my garage. A nice large water test for this one as well, as it likes the um, humidity a little bit higher, well, mine does anyway. quick thing I wanted to add just on the end of this video was I was asked on the build of these enclosures by Kelly from Critters and Creations are they stackable Kelly hope this answers your question as you can see high humidity for that one there that is the Brazilian blue dwarf beauty and the one we've just rehoused so the answer is yes they are stackable I could put another one on top I may put another one on top so hope that answers your question Kelly Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video of the rehouse of the uh, Fumixionbrus Um 
one of my favourite species since I've had it. It's not normally as crazy as it was, but hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, remember comment, subscribe, share, um, check out my social media. It's linked in the description below. Have a great day. My name is Al. You guys are awesome. Hasta la bye bye.